Okay, to put together three images side by side, I'm in Photoshop CS3, but whatever you use, it'll still work just fine. Um, if you're using CS2, all these are pretty much the exact same things um, going on. Anyway, so if you go out of Photoshop, and here on my desktop, I have um, the three photos. I'm just going to drag those into Photoshop. And as they open, you want to just move them. You can see that they're all different widths, but about the same height. Um, I've already looked at the heights, and the 490 uh, is the height that would fit all of them. Um, 490 pixels. So when I go in to find out the widths of all three of these, what you need to do on a PC, you can actually right click right here in the image title, and you can go to image size. On a Mac, you can't right click no matter what you try to do. It just hides it if you double click it. Um, so what you want to do is you have to go to image, and then image size. Shows up, tells you the width right here, 289. Remember that number of whatever your width is, and repeat for each one. You can hit Command Option I for the Mac, 327. And then for this one, 327. Notice the, uh, the largest height is 490. So now that we've got our three images in here that we want, we just go up to File, New. We're going to make the height 490 pixels. We're going to make the width just to be safe because I don't want to actually add. 1,000. Now I've got this really wide one canvas that's wide enough to hold all three of these. I still have all three of my images open. Go back to one image, and with the Move tool selected, you, let's just say you're in a lasso. If you get to the Move tool, it's top right over here at the toolbar. You could also just use the keyboard shortcut for V, so if you're over here and hit the letter V, you go to the Move. And you take this picture, click on it, and drag to here. And there, it's placed. And you can see right here, it's in its own layer, layer 1. You're able to, with this layer selected, in your layer palette, you can move this wherever you want. So put this all the way far left. There we go. Now you go to your second image and do the same thing. Rinse, lather, repeat. Do the same thing. Got that image, placed it. Awesome. Take this third image, drop it. And it, I've dropped it a little lower, but again, since this is the image that I just dropped, it's layer that it creates over here in the new blank document, it's selected so I can control that. And now it's placed. It'll automatically try and snap if you've got that preference set. So now I've got all three images set right next to each other in one new canvas. You can keep them as they are separate like this, so you can move them independently. If you were like, oh, I don't like where this picture is, let's move it over here. And I actually want to flip the position, so I'm going to have that one go over there. You move this one over here, you can do that. Another thing you can do is once they're here and you have the position where you want it to be, is you just click the top layer and you hit Apple or Control, depending on where you're at, and E. And that merges the layer with the bottom layer below it. So do it again and it's merged. So now I've got all three on one layer. And there you go. Merge it together and you can go to File save, save it as whatever you want, and you're done. Hope that helps.